So the U.S. Army has um, created a vaccine that apparently works against all COVID variants. So let's go ahead and throw this up there. Now, I also want to tell you guys, it hasn't gone through phase two and phase three trials yet. So hold your horses on any real hard conclusions here. But to this point, it's good news. U.S. Army creates single vaccine against all COVID and SARS variants, researchers say. Within weeks, Walter Reed researchers expect to announce the human trials show success against Omicron and even future strains. On Wednesday, Walter Reed officials said in a statement that its vaccine was not tested on the Omicron variant, but later clarified in an email to Defense One that while the the recently discovered vaccine was not part of the animal studies, it is being tested in the lab against clinical human trial samples. These neutral neutralization assays, I, I, neutralization assays test, I don't know how to say that because I'm an idiot, uh, whether antibodies can inhibit the growth of a virus. We want to wait for those clinical data to be able to kind of make the full public announcements. But so far, everything has been moving along exactly as we hoped Madrid said, okay, so um, I'll leave the, uh, the link for everybody in the video description box and you can take a look at the whole thing. Uh, here's my guess. I'm going to make a little prediction for everybody. My prediction is Pfizer and Moderna are not going to be happy about this. Um, and Big Pharma is not going to be happy about this because this is a U.S. Army created vaccine. Now, with how corrupt our system is, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the pharma companies goes in and buys the rights up to this vaccine and they distribute it at a profit. That seems to be what happens with all everything, whether it's the Merck pill or there's this is the way it works with almost everything. Somebody comes up with a treatment, some university comes up with a treatment. Then you have pharma comes in, buys up the rights to it, and then they turn around and sell it for a profit. In the case of the new COVID pill, it was 40 times what taxpayers paid for it on the front end. So you're charged twice. You're charged through taxes for the upfront research, now on the back end, you're price gouged. It's a scam, is what it is. Um, so either something like that's going to happen, or if it remains as a U.S. Army vaccine and it gets through the rest of the trials, which the indications are probably will, um, you'll have Pfizer and Moderna try to muck up some sort of uh, controversy against this vaccine. They'll try to argue it's not as good, it's not as efficient, there are problems with it. Hey, here's a story of one person who had an adverse reaction to it, and let's blow that out of proportion and act like it's a much bigger issue than it is. Um, so they will, Pfizer and Moderna and Big Pharma will fuel anti-vaccine hesitancy simply to try to destroy this vaccine and boost up their own vaccines. That's my prediction. Look, it's just a prediction. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll be more than happy to admit that I'm wrong, but these guys do not go quietly into the night. That is not what happens with Big Pharma. Big Pharma, um, they swing for the fences, and they're ruthless, and they're cutthroat. And so my guess is, if this is as effective as it appears to be, and it gets through the rest of the trials, um, there will be war declared on this vaccine. And my guess is, almost everybody will fall for it. So almost everybody will think, oh, well, I heard bad things about that one. And who knows if that's really the one we should take and the one we should trust. And because these guys are nothing if not efficient. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Um, what we need to do, I mean, it goes without saying, lift the, lift the patent protections, try to get glo global vaccines, get the vaccines in people's arms by any means necessary. And... Um, there should be no profiting off of it, period. I'd nationalize it. Shit, I'd nationalize all of Big Pharma. I think it's one area where the profit motive has shown to be um, unacceptable. You have a perverse incentive structure with it. And so not only would I do single-payer healthcare, I'd also nationalize Big Pharma. And the more you see um, the stories around the various drugs that we create and then they price gouge us for it, the more you realize that's really the only path forward. So uh, we'll see. We'll hold our breath a little bit here, but... I hope I'm wrong, but I predict there will be basically war declared on this new vaccine if it's as good as they say it is.